Edmonton Oilers 7, Pittsburgh Penguins 2. Welcome back to the day after reaction. Myself, Laws. And just over 24 hours ago, the puck was dropped in Pittsburgh and the Oilers absolutely rolled the Penguins. It was a great game. Devin Score showed up. Yes, a poor Yarby setting him up. That was beautiful. Connor McDavid's two beautiful goals. His 45th and then the penalty shot. Oh, beautiful. Things you love to see. Now, I asked for your thoughts on Twitter from last night's game. Let's see what you have to say. Let's get to it. Now, just a reminder, these are comments from Twitter. And Adam Williams says, The kind of dominance that this team is capable of is mind-numbing. Connor on pace for 151 and lots of support from the bottom six has been huge. I love it when the bottom six gets goals because everybody says the Oilers don't have depth. And then when Devin score scores, hmm, I love it. Cassian the Goat says, good game, but I'm afraid Holland may take this as I don't need to do anything at the deadline. Truth is the team is good enough as it is to maybe win a round or two. But if we want a cup, we need to start desperately. Maybe? I don't know. I think we should need better team defense as a whole. Maybe that comes within the organization, but I do agree we need improvements. Will Ken Holland make moves? I don't know. Maybe something minimal. It doesn't seem like Ken Holland's going to make a giant move based on everything that's out there. Of course, head to OilersAsian.com for everything trade-related right now. But yeah, will Hall make a move? I don't know. But my expectation is this or this team wins two rounds, maybe a third. I think the third round, it's going to be a little bit too tough depending on who we face. Spartan2693 says, dominating win. That is exactly how we should be playing games and the other teams end the whole time and just peppering them. Bottom six is chipping in. Top six is always scoring. Defense screwing up minimally. That's how you win hockey games. And honestly, look, the Oilers, they pepper them. They absolutely batter the Penguins. We would love to see that every game, but it's not going to happen every game. I didn't expect the Penguins to be that bad, to be honest. Especially when they only had like three shots, I think, going into the second period. Or maybe just four after like 15 minutes. It was weird. The Penguins, I expected better out of them, honestly, this season. And Ethan says, we play a great game when we play cohesive. Depth looks great. Honestly, think we need a top six right wing instead of a bottom six. CC is the wink link. NRD. I agree. Cody CC has taken a step back this year, unfortunately. You know, last year he was good. I thought he saw it with Darnell Nurse. I liked him. And now this year he, he has taken a step back when he should be taking a step forward. I do agree. We also need a top six right wing. We don't have anyone on that right side who's, you know, you can be feel confident. I mean, Yamamoto, Pugliarvi, who else? Right? Like that right side, it is fragile, in my opinion, in terms of scoring and, you know, injuries as well. So it's just, there's not enough there. Not enough scoring from the right side. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. But with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the day after a reaction there. Keep it nice and short. Thank you for everyone who commented. It was a fun win last night. You know, last night, just 24 hours ago from now, we were having a good time. And hopefully that good time is tomorrow, 1030 a.m. against Columbus, Mountain Standard Time. Let's roll the let's roll the Blue Jackets. Let's, show, let's give them some payback, right? So uh, thank you for tuning in to the day after reaction. Head to OilerStation.com for more. I'll see you next time.